Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Channel. Now, what's more important in cryptocurrency than making money? Well, if you look at Twitter, it's generally to prove someone else is wrong. So in today's video, we're going to look at our calls for buying Bitcoin at the lows now that we're seeing altcoins start to make a rally. So you know what to do. Hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, then hit the bell notification icon so you can be updated with all of our time sensitive content. Let's dive in. So first up, we're going to look at the coin market capitalizations of our cryptocurrencies. Now, I've got CoinGecko today so that we can switch between USD and BTC values. Now, we've seen on the last 24 hours, a lot of these cryptos are up. Bitcoin is up nearly 8% over the last 24 hours. This is all against USD value. ETH, 5%. Binance 8.8, Doge being one of the big winners in the top 20 at 25%. But remember, Doge has had a very hard time. So the rebounds are generally similar to how much they've lost. So they might be further down than everything else, even though that they're up a little bit more on the day. Uh, Polkadot ran 7%, Uniswap 7, Bitcoin Cash 4, Solana 13, another good one, Chainlink 9, Matic 4, and say Stellar is at eight. Now, the big thing we, want, thing we want to note here is, has it beaten Bitcoin's price? So Bitcoin's at 7.9. If we call it a round number, call it eight, something like XRP, then it hasn't. It is a bit of an illusion that our cryptos are up, even if they uh, are not as high as Bitcoin. So if we change over to BTC, so go cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, then we have a look at the charts. This is how much they've gained or loss, lost against their Bitcoin value. Ethereum is down 2%. Tether, of course, so it's down about the same price because it's the US dollar. So Bitcoin's gone up and the US dollar's gone down. That'd be the same for the rest of the stable coins. Binance is literally only up 1%. Doge, obviously being the bigger winner here, it's up against its BTC value. As I said, it has fallen pretty hard against its BTC value. Polkadot, break even. Uniswap, break even. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, down Solana, a good one. Matic is down. And we just run down the list here. And uh, we can see Tron is down. ICP is down heavily. Filecoin is down. And the rest of them are not up that much. You know, 1% here and there, a few percent. And then there are some of the outliers. So that's how we can see whether our cryptocurrencies are actually performing against Bitcoin or if they're only just showing an increase in their USD value, which if we wanted to reduce our risk, we just buy Bitcoin instead. So, so far, things are holding up pretty well for a very simple plan of just buying Bitcoin, which we can see on the Bitcoin dominance chart. Now, this isn't a complete plan where we only buy Bitcoin forever. It's just one of the first stages of a market recovery. And the dominance tends to go up in a market recovery. We're having a little bit of a pullback here, just, I mean, a percent or so, half a percent on the dominance. I'm waiting for it to break this previous high that was set in May at 48.7 so i've got my alert here at 49 percent. this is 49 percent of the total market cap so that's bitcoin being nearly back to 50 percent of the total value of the market and i suspect we'll probably see some more uh, resistance at that 49 to 50 percent level i do want to see this go a little bit higher so that this money can then flow into altcoins when we get some altcoin seasons further down in this bull market so this is also a good sign. That's where we buy up the Bitcoin at the lows. We sell some Bitcoin into altcoins later to get those pumps. And then we sell the altcoins back into, say, Bitcoin and some fiat so that we have some dry powder for when the market falls again. So that's the whole plan here. That's what we're trying to do is uh, ride the cycles out. Now, ETH is going to show us the same picture. It's actually been down since early June and just continues down. This doesn't look like a bottom to me just yet. You could keep buying these dips, but personally, I'm not doing that until I see a bottom forming and I don't see anything yet on Ethereum. Now, looking over to our plan, we have the fear and greed. We're at 27 today, so that's not a purchase for us. That's not a buy signal. Yesterday, there was no buy signal. Last time we had a buy signal was on the 23rd of June. With the fear and greed, greed index was 14. And then we also had a buy signal on the 22nd being 10th. So this is our plan here. As we just saw, the Bitcoin price actually is at 34,700. So our plan, we throw in 34,700 and we're basically at break even. So that just means that we've purchased Bitcoin 10 times since the crash and our average Bitcoin price is basically 34,700. So that's the price that we've got into the market at. 
I think that's a pretty good price considering our low, the lowest we got for a moment from, you know, a minute in time was 28,800. And this has kept us buying Bitcoin at the scariest times. You remember those days, the days were the 22nd of June. They're also the 21st of June. That was pretty scary. So we bought on this day, we bought on this day. We bought uh, back in June as well and also back in May. All these times where it was really crazy to think that we were actually buying something at the lows. And as simple as the plan is, buy Bitcoin, nice and easy. Now, the thing that's holding the market up here are the 50%. You can see it's just getting crushed by the small time frame 50% and then the bigger time frame 50%, which is from our all-time high to the COVID crash low. So you can call it the pandemic low. Uh, we've got the 50% here and it's just holding its ground. What I'd want to see next for a good bullish move for Bitcoin is if we can break through, land somewhere up here, doesn't really matter, but if we come back and sit on these levels, you know, sort of, this is sort of getting a price cluster through here. You can see some lows, you can see some previous closes, you can see the 50%. That's what I want to see is just so we can burst through the resistance, come back and test the resistance that's going to be another good sign for Bitcoin and the continuation of the bull market. Now, in yesterday's video, we covered the Wyckoff accumulation schematic. We we're looking at whether this was phase C, the, you know, the springtime where we just saw the low come in or whether it's still phase B. Now, we don't know until after the fact and we have to be prepared for both. It's not just a simple, this is done, phase B is over and we go into phase C. We have to be prepared just in case. So we could still see another phase C. So that's okay just a little bit longer that we wait at these levels and we have more buying opportunities for our plan to get more BTC for when the market rises. And remember this here on our plan, it's uh, it's common to have multiple STs after a SC. So the SC is a selling climax, which was the 19th of May. STs are the secondary tests and we can have multiple secondary tests. We've seen a test here and here on the, in May and here in June, and this could be a secondary test. We just don't know yet, and that's okay. Now, if you want to stay up to date with it, come and follow us on Twitter. Michael, my brother, has also been trading for a very long time and is a genius in GAN analysis, Wyckoff, and also Elliott Wave. So he puts all these three together to give us an idea of a low. Now, he is a trader, so he looks at it from a short-term point of view. It's just a nice, easy update. Of the market so links are down below check us out on twitter make sure you are following heaps of crypto updates over there now cardano i wanted to recap on you can see i got the shirt on today let's dive into it we got a, i got a video on the channel out last week looking at a full deep dive of cardano so if you want to get the update of gan wyckoff and elliot on cardano go and check that video out i'll leave a link to it at the end of this video so make sure you stick around for that plus i've got a big announcement yes a very big announcement for the education coming up so make sure you stay tuned for that at the end as for cardano we've had a low probably not a bad time at a dollar i suspect we'll probably get lower prices we're going to see some resistance at that dollar 50 to dollar 70 level 50 percent levels i just don't see it happening just yet cardano bitcoin we've seen a bounce but i'm just not sold on the volume yet and I'm hopeful that we do get lower prices because I want to keep buying up some Cardano. I'd rather be buying it at lower prices than higher prices. Wait, be patient, three months, six months, I don't care. I want to get some lower prices and then ride the market up. Cardano ETH has been stronger out of the three. So against the US dollar, BTC and ETH. So it looks like Cardano is where I want to put my money over ETH at the moment. ETH I've done plenty of. And in this case, uh, ADA, against ETH is actually holding up a lot better. We've broken back above our 50% and holding reasonably well. Nothing is confirmed yet. We do have other confirmations, which we've looked at plenty of times, but for now, ADA is still on the cards. Now there's some all, uh, there's some bigger news with Cardano partners, especially with smart contracts coming out, stuff like Nervos, Nervos Networks. So they've uh, partnered with Opera, and Opera is the world's first browser with Web3 capabilities. They've been around a long time. If you don't know what Opera is, uh, it's here from initial release date, 1995. Opera uses way less capacity than the typical browser, helping it to load web pages faster than Chrome or Explorer. Check out some of these features. So browse in complete security, built-in ad blocker, built-in VPN. So I'm just sort of mentioning what Opera is because this is something they've connected with, they've partnered with, so that now you can use uh, their token CKB on the Opera browser. So hundreds of millions of users will be able to send and receive Nervos token ckb now why is all that important 
because they are the cross-chain bridge with Cardano to the other smart contracts in the ecosystem. So I look at this here, Nervos is only the fourth blockchain to be incorporated into the Opera browser after Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Tron. Nervos Cardano cross-chain bridge, it will be Cardano's first cross-chain bridge, potentially unlocking access to billions of dollars in completed transactions. So this is connecting interoperability between other smart contracts, and this is going to help Cardano rise up probably faster because they have the bridges there, especially with things like Ethereum. I know the narrative out there is that Ethereum is too expensive and we need other solutions. Yes, there are going to be people that are using Cardano and I think this is going to help a lot. So first bridge outside of Ethereum to connect with the Nervos ecosystem is Cardano. So that's through IOHK. Now, this is one of their initial partners as well. CMBI was also an early investor in Nervos. CMBI is exploring further use of decentralization so since 2019, so it's not anything new as well. You know, I'm, I'm skeptical about a lot of new projects. I want to hammer them really hard. This thing's been around a while, and they're also investing more money now. So another $50 million fund would, will be deployed over a three-year period. And then this is going out to other startups who are helping to build the ecosystem. The price of Nervos is down to 1.2 cents, market cap 339 million. We used to want to scream into these projects that were under the, the billion dollar range. And at the peak of the cycle in uh, April, so peak of the market, probably not the end of the cycle, but peak of the market, we saw Nervos at around a billion dollars and four cents. So the market cap here was peaking out at a billion, now down to 330 million. Aussies, end of financial year is coming up. Make sure if you want to get your superannuation, your retirement funds into cryptocurrency, you're going to check out New Brighton Capital, $300 free credit when you use the Pazino code uh, for your 20 minute free consultation here. So this is to get your super money to purchase cryptocurrency. These guys will help you set all of that up in an SMSF. Now, on to the big news for the education. We've got a new Patreon coming out. You guys have been asking for it for months. We have finally put it together. TIA Lite will be launching very, very soon. So if you want to get on board and be one of the first 500 to get the big discount, it's a monthly membership, not all up front. It's a monthly membership. You guys have been asking for this. Make sure you see the link in the description down below. Drop your first name, your email address, hit notify me, and you'll be notified once this goes live for you to be able to purchase it. All right, so the link is down below. The first 500 will be getting a huge discount for lifetime. So make sure if you want to get on board with that, See the link down below and we will see you in TIA Lite, our new Patreon membership. So that's what I have for you guys today on Friday, 25th of June. We looked at the altcoins and their rise in value of their USD value, but dropping in their BTC value. Of course, this is generalized across the board. That's what we're seeing. So the altcoins have been surging, but also Bitcoin has been surging. So again, it just plays back to let's keep the plan easy. We have a nice simple plan that we are working on to be buying Bitcoin at lows, not saying it is the definite low, but we do have lows in mind. And then we can cycle that Bitcoin into altcoins when the time is right. Obviously, that's how I'm playing it. If you want to learn more, obviously, we have the Investor Accelerator. Link to that is down below with the course. This is a monthly membership as well. So we have two products now. I'll see you guys very soon at the next video. Make sure you are subscribed. You like the video up. Bell notification icon. Catch you on Twitter and Instagram for daily Q&As. Until next time, have more fun to get more done. <laughs>